Hello everybody! Just gonna get some last things set up here. Uh, and want to test out the audio and stuff. So let me know how I sound, um, how the music sounds, and everything like that. Uh, if it if my voice sounds weird, I can't tell. So let me know. All right, be on soon. Enjoy this Zelda music in the meantime. All righty. This is a uh, uh, this is my parents' first dance. Actually, they really like this song, and so it's their first dance. Um, hey everybody, that's not true. I lied. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to lie. Hey everybody, it's been a second. How you doing? How's everybody doing? I'm gonna turn the music down just just a touch because very loud in mine ears but I can turn it up in the thing so you can still hear it alrighty hey everybody welcome to the stream today we are going to be crocheting a castle for our little dragon here uh, we're getting prepared for this dragon pattern to come out that's right this pattern is coming out soon dragon so we need to make him a little castle you know and I don't know if this castle is gonna be necessarily for this dragon uh, but it will be for a dragon to protect or to take apart. I'm not sure yet. 
but uh oh too loud for you the music was too loud I'll turn it down there we go um but yes today we are gonna be crocheting a castle so if you want to crochet along with me feel free to um, the pattern is available right here at clubcrochet.com slash castle I put it up for free today so you could crochet along with me um, and I'll keep it free for the next few days for people that watch a little bit later as well and if you want to uh, make a castle you will need the following materials I'm using all worsted weight yarn and 100% cotton I'm using gray m majority gray uh, I'll be using brown for the drawbridge and then I need a color for the top and that's where I thought I could get your guys opinion uh, so let me know in the chat which one of these colors would be best for the top of our castle because you can see that we need like one color there now I've done ones that are red so I don't know if I want to do red if you guys want me to do red I totally can uh, but I thought it'd be fun to do either like one of these four colors so we got green pink red and blue let me know in the comments and while you're doing that uh, hello dad my dad is in the chat hi dad um, while we are going through that, let me talk about how you can help support this channel if you are interested in doing so. Um, so if you like what's going on here and you like to help support and yeah, uh, there's a few ways you can do so. The first easiest, cheapest way is just to like this video down below. Go like it, subscribe to the channel, you know, all that silly fun jazz. Uh, it helps this channel grow and uh, people see these videos more often, stuff like that. Uh, we got a lot of teal ooh, light blue teals okay people like the blues oh green someone's saying green um so that's the first way to help support you can also help support uh probably the best way to help support is with a membership members get early access to future patterns they get access to exclusive patterns on the club crochet library there are a bunch of exclusive patterns including this uh, castle pattern this is normally an exclusive pattern and it will be back to an exclusive pattern after a few days uh, but members get access to all those patterns they get um, kits mailed directly to their door each month with all the materials they need and this month's kit is going to be a dragon not a blue dragon it'll either be a red or a green dragon here is a picture of a sleeping green dragon not a picture here is a sleeping green dragon that I made earlier and I'll show this guy off a little bit later as well um, he's very cute uh, but yes yeah, so that's gonna be this month's kit if you want to sign up for it uh, you have until the end of the month so it's not that long uh, left so sign up now and I don't know if these kits are gonna be in the shop after I'm not sure when but even when they do get in the shop they will be more money than it costs to get a pro membership so if you'd like to just sign up for a pro membership to get this kit uh, it'll probably be cheaper actually it'll definitely be cheaper that way and uh, you can cancel it at any time if you don't want to. Memberships start at only $5 a month, uh, and you can even get a free trial for seven days if you'd like to, and you can cancel at any time. Other ways to support the channel, um, we have kits and merch and patterns for sale. Uh, if you want to get some stickers, we got a bunch of different kinds of stickers. I got some new stickers on their way, uh, which I'm excited to show you guys a little bit later. We got Church of Perch stickers. We got a crocheting ogre professional hooker stickers anyone could be a hooker sticker a small pin that I for some reason had with all those stickers and we have a little pin like this this is the little yarn ball pin I've got some more pins on their way too there's a burb pin coming soon and uh, some more yarn ball colors uh, there's a pink one coming and a rainbow one that I made uh, that I really like so those are coming soon as well so keep a lookout for those uh, I think that's all the support stuff. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I think that's it. I think that's all I got for you. Uh, all right. Well, let's get these out of the way. Let's look at which color you guys said. Got a lot of blue. Okay. A lot of teal. Is this teal? Do you guys think this is teal or do you think this was teal? Because neither really are teal but like maybe they come I guess this one kind of looks teal on the on the video but it's very it's pretty green let's see we got yeah most the blue green green okay well let's do green then let's do green I don't have a green one yet so why not 
Um, cool. Let's put that to the side there. And I got some fun things to show you a little bit later as well. Oh, also, if you'd like to help support, uh, you can do so by tipping as well. In fact, I think someone already tipped. Yes, Tina. Oh, my gosh. I can't believe I missed it. That was like literally within the first five seconds Tina supported. So thank you so much, Tina. If you'd like to support, you can do so right here. Clubcrochet.com slash tip. And, uh, and it goes right to me and or to the channel, I should say, not to me. And then I put something out for you. Today, I thought it'd be fun to start putting out creatures like we're sieging a castle, like the castle that we're making. So every time you support, we put out something new that will help siege the castle. And let's start with our favorite. Let's go with, where is he? I want a goblin. I want a goblin for Tina because I just feel like that makes sense to me. Let's see, we got, oh, we got zombies. No, 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 we don't want a zombie. We want a gerblin. There we go. Oh, he's so cute. Yes, this is the goblin for us. Tina, thank you for your support. This little goblin's gonna be out throughout the, cha uh, throughout the live stream, watching over and ready to siege this castle once it's finished being crocheted. So every time you support, I put a new guy out there for you. Um, okay, I have it on autofocus. I probably should switch it to manual and see how that goes. Okay. All right, so let's get hooking. I got my gray yarn here. And let's get talking. Let's get chatting. How you guys been? It's been a second. I'm so sorry I was gone last week. Um, so me and Jules went on our, uh, we went to celebrate our five-year anniversary uh, and we went to Mendocino, which is like a, a town that's really close to us. And we just really like it a lot. But I ended up getting sick while I was there. And it scared me a bunch. I thought I, you know, I thought I had COVID or something. I didn't have COVID, uh, luckily. But uh, I was sick. And so I didn't, I couldn't stream last week. And I'm sorry about that. But I'm back uh, and ready to rock and roll. It was a bummer because last week we wanted to do the... Um, Freestyle Friday, the first Freestyle Friday, and I couldn't, I just couldn't do it. Four, five, and six. But it was a very good trip, nonetheless. Left is blue, right is green. Oh, got it, left is, got it, got it. Um, this was also going to be, uh, I, Desiree actually said it right in the beginning, uh, that this would be a great challenge pattern and you're totally right. Oh, oh, I'll mention this in a second. You're totally right. This would be a great challenge pattern. And that was actually the original idea was, I was like, okay, let's make this the next challenge pattern, but I totally dropped the ball and coffee and crochet message me after this and we can get it set up. But I do think this would be a really fun challenge that we could get started, uh, pretty soon where you could make your own castle, make it look like whatever kind of castle you want. Because this castle pattern is very customizable. You can make it look like however you want it to because there's just a bunch of different little pieces that you put together. So it'd be a really good customizable pattern. Now heads up, I my back is like killing me for some reason. I think it's because of all week I've been like, I've been like in bed sick. So my back is like, oh, oh. Hurts. Hurts pretty bad. Uh, so if you see me squirming and wiggling, that's why. I'm trying to sit into a pretty good position. I think I'll be all right. But I might need to get up and stretch. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. But yes, a castle a castle uh, challenge. I thought that'd be a pretty cool thing to do. Okay, so... Ba -ba -ba, all right, here. And then we slip stitch to join. Oh, we were supposed to be slip stitching to join the whole time. Oh, well, that'll work. It's fine. Chain one, and then working into the back. Oh, okay. That's pretty cool. I can do that. See, I don't remember how this pattern goes. Oh, by the way, this pattern is not originally designed by myself. This is designed by another Amigurumi artist that goes by Ravencraft Designs. 
Um, and she actually hasn't been designing Amy Gurumi much anymore. Um, so this is one of her last patterns that she designed that since she's done a, a couple year hiatus, really. But she's a very talented Amy Gurumi artist. I hope she comes back. And she does have some really cool patterns on her website. You can find it by just going to ravencraftdesigns.com. If you actually go to this pattern, there's links to her uh, stuff there as well. Very talented amigurumi artist. Yo, Jake! My friend Jake is uh, getting married to... Yesterday? I think he got married yesterday. Hello, Jake, if, he's, if you're watching. Yo, congratulations. I still owe you a crocheted doodad to say uh, congratulations. But that's really cool. My dad and uh, my, well, really, I think all of my family, my mom, dad, and my brother, they are in Georgia right now to celebrate Jake's wedding. And I wasn't able to go because I am going to a wedding of my own. I mean, not my own, but I'm going to a wedding on Wednesday. And I was like, oh, no, I can't do double wedding. I, I cannot crack it. That's what Tina says. Well, I'll show you. I'll try to crack it. You know I will. You can't mention that because then I start thinking about how I want to crack my back. Oh, now I can't stop thinking about it. Oh, I can't crack it. No. I tried right before the video, anyhow. Whew. That was a bad move. <laughs> we'll see. I took an Advil, too, so... It probably it won't be that bad maybe i just need to change positions where in georgia i'm not sure dad where are you in georgia oh he's leaving all right never mind i have i am not sure where in georgia they are right now but they're somewhere out there you know i have the information somewhere in my emails but but not off the top of my me head Hello, Mega B Capian. I could use a chiropractor really bad. I'm just afraid I'm going to go to a chiropractor and they're going to be like, I don't think your body should be doing what it's doing. You got to stop cracking your back. And I'm going to be like, no, I knew I should have seen anybody. They would tell me what I already knew. <laughs> Thank you, Fahi. Thank you. I like my glasses as well. Um, I had to get new ones, though. I'm actually really excited. I love getting new glasses. It has been... It's probably been like five years since I've gotten new glasses, so I really need to get new glasses. My prescription's probably much worse. And uh, it's always really fun. It's just really expensive. I'm always like, oh, no, I have to spend how much money to get new glasses? This is ridiculous. You know what I mean? But we will see. It'd be fun to get. Um, I like getting big ones. I like, I like having glasses that I don't have to like. Have very many points of my vision that don't have, like, good vision. You know, so I can see even out of the sides and still have good vision. But we will see. I used to wear contacts. I did when I was like in middle school, but I don't really like contacts very much. I don't like the idea of touching my eyeballs. It creeps me out. It creeps me out. My dad used to wear contacts. Um, well, he still does. Oh, no, wait. I think he got LASIK. But he used to wear contacts and would wear them for just, like, weeks and weeks on end with, <laughs> without ever taking them out. Uh, and we all thought, you're going to lose your eyesight for doing that. And then he went to the doc eye doctor once, and the eye doctor was like, Wow, your vision has improved. You must be taking really good care of your eyes. <laughs> You're like, what? How is that even remotely possible that his vision improved when he keeps his contacts in for that long without taking them out? It's like they were like fusing to his eyeballs or something. Crazy, crazy, crazy. I have heard very good things about acupuncture. But it seems really creepy to have a bunch of needles put in your body. But it would be kind of fun. 
Dude, I see... I see Alif Damir? I think I said your name right. It's a very unique name. Uh, thank you so much. She said that they're a big fan and just wanted to say hi. That You're so nice. Thank you. Right? Yeah, contacts are gross and fall... Like, yeah, they... I don't understand how he would ever keep them in for so long, but... He's a creepy weirdo. Creep, creep, weirdo. Creepy. That's not creepy. It's just gross. It hurts. It just seems like it would burn really, really bad, you know? Just seems like it would burn. I like that we just uh, we got our little goofy goblin there. Tina, what do you want to name that goblin? Because I feel like that goblin needs a little fun name for you. Oh, my glasses like always have thumbprints all over them. I had to clean them right before the video actually. One, two, four. Okay. We have a lot of these little mini castles to make. These little mini um we got well, I mean, we got a lot. We got four. At least four. I guess we could do Oh, you know what? That's that's true. We could just do two of these castles. That's what's really nice about this pattern is that it's like customizable. So we can make it a little smaller if we want. I don't know. We might try doing um, two and then coming back to it if we have more time to make an extra two before we make the whole main body part. Let's see how it goes. You bruised your eyes, Micah? Micah? That's crazy. Were they like purple? Look at how perfectly straight. Look at that. Look at that cylinder. This is like an elephant's foot or something. It's great. I'll show you how I made it this straight in, uh, once I do the second one here. Spike. That's Spike the Goblin. Oh, he's so sweet. Oh, I'm so excited to show you some of the things that I've been working on. I'll tell you what, after each one of these, um, instead of doing like a halftime show today, I mean, we might still do a halftime show, we'll see. But uh, I've been working on some new patterns. They are not in the anywhere yet. Uh, just like while I've been sick, I was just making a bunch of these little things that I'm excited to show you. You're going to like them a lot, I think. <clears throat> so I'll show you one after each one of the uh, the little pieces here. Dude, Chaos is playing Minecraft right now while they're watching the stream. What do you what do you making in Minecraft? You making a castle? You should make a castle. Messing with some creepers. One, two, three, four, five. So you ever heard of the show? Um, it's like a YouTube show. It's called uh, um, um Actually. It's a game show for, it's like a nerdy game show from College Humor. Anyhow, I was watching it the other day, and uh, I'm really good at that game show. <laughs> it turns out I'm a nerd. It turns out, who knew? Um, but one of the questions was about a, like, the sound of, of, like, enemies in video games, and you had to, like, identify what the sounds were. And one of them was a creeper from Minecraft, and none of them got it, and I was like, I just don't know what a creeper sounds like. Everybody knows what a creeper sounds like. Like that. And then explodes. Well, you can always turn... I mean, a house is a castle. I mean, when you think about it, right? <laughs> that seems logical. Three, four, five, six. And then we have our first one. I think that's it for us. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, that would be round nine. And we just have one more round, and it's to decrease. And then that'll be... That'll be that. we got to make the little edging. But that's a pretty... That's a pretty solid... It's pretty solid if you ask me. Chain one, working back loops only. So here's what I'm gonna try doing. I haven't, I don't think I've ever done this before. Let me zoom in and show you guys what's going on right here. All right, 
check this out. So normally I work into the back loops only, right? Just these back loops like that. But what I'm gonna try doing, and this is what I did for this beginning here, which gave me such a nice right angle. This is something I learned from um, crocheting boxes, is that if you work into the back loop and the secondary loop, so if you look here really close, here's the back loop, right? And here's another loop from the inside of a stitch. So if you work into both of these ones, like that, instead of just that one, you can make it go really sharply angled in and angled out, like do do, do a really sharp right angle. Um, I haven't done it for decreasing, but we're about to try that right now. Uh, but that's what I do on the top here, and I'll show you again a little bit later. Uh, it's just a nice little technique that you can use if you'd like to, to help you make your um, make sharper right angles for your amigurumi. <clears throat> yeah, Co coffee. You you would very much like uh, Minecraft. It's very, very creative. I actually really really like that Minecraft is a, the most popular. Like, maybe not the most popular game anymore, but one of the most popular games of all time. Because it's just all that game is is about inspiring and being creative. It's so um, it's great. Like that's great for kids to play. I'd much rather my kid play Minecraft than like like a like uh, Call of Duty or something. I used to play a lot of Call of Duty, and I wish I played more Minecraft. <laughs> Dude, Desiree, that would be so cool. That would be that's a great idea though. So Desiree said it'd be time consuming, but it'd be totally cool if you could sporadically space the single crochets in a darker gray for cobblestone effect. That would be freaking awesome. I do not have that kind of patience right now, but I do think that would be very cool. I feel like I've already decreased one, two, three, four. Okay, wait. So one, two, three, four. Yeah, we got two more decreases. And then we can start working on, well, we'll have to sew it closed, but then we can start working on the edges of it as well. So what are you guys working on? What are y'all working on? You got a, uh, anybody else making a castle? Or do we got some people making, let's see. Yeah, what are you guys, what are you guys making right now? Other than a Minecraft house. <laughs> ho, 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 ho. So this song is doing. Oh, I don't know what I did with this last stitch here. Let's try fixing that up. One, two, three, four, five, six. Perfect. Cut it. And let's see how much this ah, helped the sharpness. That's not bad. Yeah, that's pretty, that's pretty good. All right, so now let's stuff it and sew it closed and then add the um, edging of the castle. Leaf sauce is... Oh, just finished a rhino. Very cool. Desiree's making a Sims house. <laughs> That's cool. Rebecca's making a castle. Nice. Nice. Takayaki's making a troll and a kobold. I have to w put more work into that kobold pattern. <laughs> Melville's also playing Minecraft. It's such a chill game. Raven has got four skull ponchos. What's a skull poncho? That seems so metal. 
Yo, check out my scar poncho. <laughs> and Kennedy's making a minion. Great. I make a lot of minions, but they're uh, goblin flavored minions. Not like minion minions. I have made a minion though, in the past. Yes, a tiny, it's a, just a tiny castle. It's gonna be just a tiny castle. Elise. Elise, it's Alice. Alice, because we wanna make it so that our sleeping dragon can be like this. I want him to be like sleeping on the edge of the castle like that, like it's his castle. And he's like, I want him to be like sleeping on the side of it and be like, hey, what you doing? <laughs> Wouldn't that be funny? Put him up there. This is a normal dragon. I just have a, a, a needle through his arms and his head to keep him like laying down like that. All right. Yeah, I thought it'd be fun to do like a dark, like a black castle, like a Dracula castle would be cool. There's some ideas. If uh, keep those ideas in mind for the. For the uh, castle crochet challenge, which will be starting as soon as as Veronica and I get our butts together and get the challenge started, which I'm sorry, it's not started already. I want to add something into uh, Stitched, my tabletop game, where you crochet your pieces. I want to add something for these castles too. When I finally finish and release the Kickstarter for it, which I think I think I'm gonna have to push back even further, which sucks. But I'm just not as far along as I wanted to be. I've had so many hiccups. And then now that it's gonna be like, um, you know, fall and stuff, that's just such a busy time for me because there's so many things to crochet. So I was like, ah, maybe we push back even further so it doesn't get into the way of, of like October. Okay, so we make a slip knot and then we pull through for the front loop of round two. Working into the front loop. Okay. That'd be this one, I think. Ah, oh, wait, no, I have it right there. It's this one. that and then chain one do we skip the first one half double crochet chain one and slip stitch Oh, that's cute. God, see, I always forget what these patterns look like. Until I, I, like, I forget them, you know? It's one of the really fun parts about these crochet alongs is that it allows me to go back to my older, well, this one's not mine, but older patterns and try them out again. Chirp a little, hello! Cooperlicious, wow, everybody's, everybody's just joining in. Hey, everybody, how you doing? How you doing, eh? Half double crochet, chain, slip stitch, right? Nice, look at that, it's making a little castle edge. Nadra, you didn't miss much. We're just making our first, uh, our first castle edge skinny tower we're for just making our first skinny tower and then we're going to be working on we have two to four of these to make so you have not missed much honest honestly i played D, D on friday for the first time in like forever which was really cool um i played as a <clears throat> as a dragonborn barbarian. I don't know if you guys have ever played Dungeons and Dragons before. Uh, 
it's very cool. I highly suggest everybody try Dungeons and Dragons at Dungeons and Dragons, Dungeons and Dragons at least uh, once. It's basically just playing imagination for a while. And uh, yeah, I'm very much into it. And the my character was named Rod Smoldersunder. He's a Dragonborn Barbarian. This is him, actually. This is this is Rod, Dragonborn Barbarian, uh, with a huge battle axe and a really bad sinus infection. <laughs> that was my character yesterday or Friday. It was awesome. I really liked it. Yeah, I'd, I'd very much like to play D&D &D more often. I really want to run a campaign of D&D &D with all these like crocheted minis and make a little mini world. We will see about that. One day, perhaps. Perhaps one day. Okay, so I just did a hidden end in the end there. I don't know if that was... I don't think that's... Oh, okay, yeah. That's cool. That's cool. That's good. All right, so we got a castle tower done. One of at least two, perhaps four. We will see. Voldemort dragon. <laughs> I have never played a barbarian before. Usually, um, I play. Oh, I missed a do donation, dude! Oh my God, Cooper, my dude. Yes, heck yes. You know, I think he needs. I think he deserves a whole dragon for that. Hold on, let me. Let me get that up there. Let me finish this. This part up real quick. Thank you for letting me know, Mel Bell. I totally did miss it. Okay, so we got one of our towers done. We'll put them right here. Put it right, put it right here. With a huge $20 donation, Cooper, my dude, thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, let's, let's put out a dragon for you. Where's that big blue dragon? I think he should be out there just for you and you get to name the dragon even. If I can find where he flew off to, though. Oh, there he is. Cooper, thank you so much. This beautiful sapphire blue dragon is going to be out in the live stream just for you for that humongo donation. Let's get his wings out there so he's really spooky. Let me put him right here. And you get to name the dragon. And he'll be watching, waiting. Maybe we could have Spike on his spikes. Is that writing? There we go. Oh, they are ready to tear this castle apart. Here, wait. You know what? He can go in the arms of Spike like that. Oh, that's cute. He's like protecting Spike now. Yeah, like that. <laughs> that's cute. Cooper is a legend. Ac accurate. Totally a legend. Thank you, my dude. When you think of a name, let me know. Okay, so we're gonna put that here and get started on another one of these. It is a, yeah, it is a big boy. So this, again, this is next month's uh, crochet kit. I'm working on the pattern right now. I'm gonna probably be filming the video for the pattern tomorrow. Um, and the kits will go out on the very first Monday of the of September. So as long as you sign up before the end of August, you will get a dragon kit mailed to you. Uh, and you'll be able to choose between green and red. Uh, this week, I'm going to be sending out the emails where people can choose which color they want to do. So, yeah, seriously, uh, this is probably going to be like... Actually, this, this is going to be one of the coolest kits this year, I think. But that being said, the kit that's going to be after the dragon, which I'm going to keep a secret because it's because I want to keep it a secret right now, 
is gonna be really cool. Like, that one might be the coolest kit. So, it's a toss up. It's gonna be two really cool kits in a row though. I'm, I'm like really excited about it. You're gonna like it. You're gonna like it a lot. Cooper, what do you wanna name your dragon? Well, you know what? The naming of a dragon probably takes quite a long time. And dragons probably live for a lot for a lot longer than us mere mortals, so. Um, but yeah, so normally I don't play barbarians in Dungeons and Dragons. Uh barbarians, by the way, for people that don't play Dungeons and Dragons, they're basically like big angry dudes. Well, it doesn't always have to be a dude, but like dudes that go in and cause a lot of damage and they're like the Hulk. The Hulk is like a barbarian. They go into a rage and they hit things with metal things. They're pretty simple to play, at least it was for me, uh, compared to like a like a like a wizard or something with like spells and stuff. You don't really need to know a lot of things. You just need to know I'm gonna go in there and I'm gonna hit this thing a bunch, uh, and I want it to hit me. <laughs> uh, that's the goal of Barbarian, which was so much fun. I've never played it before. Usually I play rogues and like um, I like rogues and I like uh, rangers, which are like archers. So it was really cool to play something. Um, like that and get to m get to play more with the character's personality more than it's like gameplay which I really really like I like the role playing part of Dungeons and Dragons a lot I like to pretend I'm something I'm not and pretending I was a big big guy also was just fun for me because <laughs> I am not a very big guy so it's fun to imagine <laughs> what I'd do if I was eight foot tall um cooper rag raganov oh raganov hello raganov raganov the terrible maybe raganov the beautiful give him little pets give him little boops Boop. raganov the magnificent So here, I'm gonna do that thing that I was talking about again. Let me show you up close in this section where I was saying you work into like both loops and the back loops there. So we got, in this next round, you're supposed to work into the back loops like this, right? But instead of just working into the back loops, this is actually the first stitch right there. So instead of just working into that back loop, I'm also going to work into this other loop. It's very difficult to do but if, you, if I can get into both of those loops as I go around, it'll really pull it that way. Whereas if I did only the one, it'll probably give me a 45 degree angle and look a little bit stuffed. Which, I mean, it's not gonna look bad at all, but if I want it to be as straight as possible, I'm gonna try working into both of these ones. Just a little thing that I found out uh, that I wanted to share with you. Okay. Let's get a little bit better focus there. Or Nirakoral. Nirakoral. I like, I personally like Raganov a little bit better because it's easier to say, but uh, it's your dragon, my dude. You get to choose. It's, yeah. But you also have got to remind me after this. Hit me up on Discord and let me know uh, and remind me what you want this dragon's name to be. Because if you don't, I will forget. And then next time I'll be like, what was this dragon's name? But I'd like to, I'd like to remember. Alex, how long have I been crocheting? I have been crocheting since sophomore year of high school. So that's like grade 10. So I graduated in 2010. So I was in grade 10 in 2008 maybe 2007 so that would be 12, one or 
four, 13 or 14 years probably I've been crocheting, I think. I think that seems accurate to me. Jazzis Jessica says they're playing a halfling tiefling rogue who's scared of heights and we are you're traveling in an airship right now. That seems uh, very difficult. <laughs> That's funny though. What got me into crocheting? Um, I was really crafty in high school, just making like, just stuff. Uh, I made a lot of mix CDs. Uh, this was back when CDs were used a little bit more. I mean, MP3 players were still a thing, but CDs were fun because people had CD players in their cars. So anyhow, I got into crafts a lot. And then I, um, I saw something crocheted online. I think it was like an octopus or something. And I was like, I could, that's so cool. You can like make toys out of yarn. How do you do that? Uh, and then I just learned how to do it from there. Uh, I really, what got me into it was giving gifts to friends and girls that I had crushes on. Honestly, uh, I would crochet little things for them. So yeah, that was, that was a, a significant motivator of what got me into crochet and I'm really glad that I got into crochet but uh, yeah that is that's kind of how I got into it I crocheted a lot in high school pretty much every single class I was crocheting I became the crocheting guy not really I was a pretty quiet dude so I don't think people noticed me too much in high school but um, and then the other question was, how did Jules and I meet? So Jules is my girlfriend, and we met on Tinder, actually. Met on Tinder. Five years ago. Our second date, for our second date, she invited me out for her birthday. And I remember going, yo, Garrett, that was my roommate at the time. Hey, Garrett. What do I do here? This girl asked me out on her birthday. I feel like I'm scared to go because like, what if it's, what if I, what if I'm a bad date <laughs> on her birthday? Like, I don't want to make her birthday bad. And he was like, well, you like her? I was like, yeah, she's cool. Well, then you should go. Just don't be a jerk. I was like, okay, well, that's pretty easy for me. But that is how Jules and I met. The blue puppet's not finished. Uh, Nydra, Nydra, I think I said that right, asked uh, or, or said, you didn't get to see the blue puppet finish. He's not finished yet. That's a work in progress Wednesday. So next, not next Wednesday, but the Wednesday after next. So the, let me look at the calendar here. So not next Wednesday, but the Wednesday after that. So September. September, I think September 8th? Yeah, right? Na, 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 na. Oh yeah, no, September 1st. So September 1st, the very first September, <laughs> the very first September, <laughs> very first September is gonna be, um, we're gonna be, it's gonna be another work in progress Wednesday and we'll start, we'll continue working on that puppet probably. I'm excited. I really want to see that puppet finish, so I'm really, I'm really stoked. Nahydra? Nahydra. I can remember that. Nahydra. Dude, Alex, thank you so much. You recently got into it. I'm telling you, crochet is the most, not only is it crazy addicting, but it's also uh, the coolest art form ever. Wow, Raven has been crocheting for like 45 years. That's 
nuts, dude. Whoa, you've probably made some incredible stuff. Wow, that's a long time. You must be really good at crocheting. Your name means no water? Like Hydra, no Hydra, not Hydra. Wow. Hm. I agree, Coffee. Jack does need a buddy. We'll see how it goes, but currently I am leaning towards the puppet being uh, a shaman, a, a troll shaman. I've got a name in mind. Poor girl, the mind. But I don't know. I don't know how it's gonna go. It's fun that uh, uh, you guys are cool with me being my nerdy self all the time. Cause I know, I know some people in the chat here aren't really. Maybe, maybe you guys are all super nerds, but I know some of you probably aren't. So I appreciate you <laughs> coming and enjoying this nerdy dude crocheting castles for his little crochet goblins that he makes. It's just so funny to say out loud. Will I eventually have a pattern for Jack? Absolutely, Chaos. Chaos Cities, I will no question have a pattern for Jack. I'm writing the pattern down. Actually, Cooper's been, uh, Cooper's gonna help me out with writing the pattern down more. Um, but yeah, I'm writing the pattern down as I make it so that it's easier for me to convert it to an actual pattern. Because usually I just free style and just don't really think about it um but the last live stream cooper was like hey can i help you out by writing the pattern down while you're going and that's like heck yeah dude please do tina yes we can we can say hi to jack today we, I'll, I'll bring jack out i'm thinking about a new system for jack okay so hear me out because Currently, like doing this is very difficult for a long period of time. Just that position is hard for your hand to like open and close. So I thought it'd be kind of fun if I could figure out how to do a green screen right here. So it's not in camera. And then I have a camera right here. You know, like maybe like slightly off like that. Then I can easily do Jack, and you can't even see me doing Jack, right there. And it'll be a green screen, so you can't, so he'll pop out, and I can put him on any background that I want. I don't know, just a thought I had. It could be really fun. I like figuring out those kind of things, those like technicalities of how to make it work. I agree, Raven. I think um, I think it's starting to come into the light that that crocheting is not just for girls, especially with Amy Gurumi. I think it's kind of changed the the views of crocheting and maybe even yarn crafts in general. I mean, I'm a little close to the art to say that, but I think that um, Amy Gurumi has really brought a lot more people into crochet. Uh, and a lot of people of different, different genders, different backgrounds, not just, um, yeah, not just like the stereotypical, like, honestly, I guess like the stereotype is what, like a grandma crocheting. And I don't think, I think that's starting to change because of how awesome Amy Gurumi is. Do I teach kids too? I mean, I... I try to make my patterns as uh, easy to learn with as possible. Uh, my goal being that, you know, kids could learn how to crochet using my tutorials, but um, I've never taught like uh, in person really. Um, I've never taught like, you know, one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, that being said, I am going to try to teach in person in September at my local yarn store. So we'll see how that goes. It should be pretty fun. We're gonna be crocheting octopi together in like a little mini class. Two, four, five, six. I just thought it'd be kind of a fun thing to do. I think that's the end of that right there. 
we'll have two little castle sides. Dude! Zinu! Zinu? Xinu? Zin I'm gonna say Zinu, because it's fun to say. Uh, says that they got into crochet because of my videos and want to say big thanks and uh, loving it so far from Spain. How cool. Hello. Thank you for joining. That is way cool. All the way from Spain. It must be pretty late for you right now, huh? Probably like a seven hour difference? Yeah. No, probably even more. Probably like a 10 hour difference. So it's like probably midnight, huh? Well, thank you so much for joining. I hear Jules. I think Jules just got back. She was visiting with her niece, her nieces, who live just south of, of San Francisco. Hope you had a good time. Come on, I can't get into that back loop there. There we go. That one was that one was being difficult. Oh, that's so cool. I will. I'm sure she'll come in and say hello and once she's settled in a little bit better. I know she wants to do nothing today. That was her goal when she got back. She's like, I'm gonna play Animal Crossing and chill out Sunday. You do it. Emerald the turtle? Emerald the turtle? Emerald turtle. Is that it? I think it's emerald turtle. Uh, they said they enjoy seeing the new techniques used in the most unique patterns. Been crocheting for a few years now and still learning. Welcome. Thank you so much. Uh, I do try to put as many. I try to make uh, patterns have like an extra unique technique in them. Unique technique. Um if possible, just because it's fun for me. I mean, I've been crocheting for a while, so crocheting uh, using the same techniques over and over can get a little tedious. Uh, and I don't like sewing things together if I can avoid it, so I try to come up with fun ways around that. In fact, let me finish this castle tower up and I'll show you guys my something that I've been making. You guys are going to love it. I know for sure. For sure. That's some confidence right there. Alex, so do I make all the patterns off the top of my head? I I do make a lot of the patterns off the top of my head. Um, yeah, me and Crochet understand each other very well. So uh, I do like to make patterns off the top of my head if possible. This one's not my pattern, so... I can't say that I did this one, but normally I do make patterns off the top of my head. Uh, I usually do the first one just freestyling. Uh, I have a dragon. Oh, actually, I gave the first one to my mom, but I have like the first draft of a dragon I gave to my mom, uh, and it it looks somewhat similar to this, but different still. And then I write write it down and I try it again and then I write it down and I try it again until it until it's the way I want it to be for you guys to see it there she is hello 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 hopping in with my pink face hi everybody did you tell them what I was up to yes how was Danielle she's great super rambunctious and baby Ashley is fussy <laughs> Fussy? Very fussy. Fussy day today for baby She's Ashley. Yeah. Hi, I just wanted to pop in and say hi. Yeah, they already actually were saying hi when I heard oh, you come what? in. See, look. Hey, oh, Jules, hey, that's hi. sweet. Hi, everyone. Yeah. So they got they got ahead of schedule for you. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I tried to come in quietly, but I guess I failed. Oops. No, I mean, the door's right there, so I, <laughs> I, I would hear it anyhow. Well, I just want to pop in and say hi before I get too uh, comfy on the couch. <laughs> I, that's what I told them too, too, actually. I was like, I bet you I she's going to come say hi before she crashes. Yeah. Uh, I really want to play Animal Crossing. I know. <laughs> wow. Hi. Wow. So many people. 
Oh my goodness. Hello, hello. Lots of new names. I don't even re rec Yeah. L Wolverine, hello. From the UK. That's awesome. Very cool. What time is it there? I think it's like 11 at night. 11, yeah. Okay, I'm exhausted. So okay. I'm gonna go crash, but I hope you all have a great time crafting together. Yes, we're uh, making castles. Oh, yeah, I see you got a tower. We have one tower. Uh -huh. I think I just overstuffed this a little bit, but that's okay. Oh, oh. We got one castle or one tower. I think I might just do a two tower castle instead of doing a castle? four. Castle. Castle. But uh, I'm not sure just yet. I still gotta think about it. It'd be you know it'd be yeah. fun to do this with chunky yarn and make an actual like big castle. Oh, oh! Thank you for saying I'm pretty. <laughs> <laughs> that's so nice. The cats are okay. Yes, Jimbo is sleeping on the rocking chair and Phoebe's asleep on my laundry. Wow. He was not sleeping when I started the live stream, I'll oh, tell you that much. Well, he calmed down. I think he figured out no one was going to pay attention to him, so yeah. I might as well take a nap. Uh, I do not crochet. I knit. Um, I'm I'm the the other half of the coin. Yeah. Uh, but I do. I have crocheted two full projects. Louie helped me with both. And um, I feel confident with chains single crochets and double crochets the rest i'm like that, what do i do <laughs> yeah well i mean that's enough where you could make this yes like no problem well maybe a little problem anyway it's I'm all single go. crochets <laughs> i'll leave you to it yeah i don't want to take over your show no Have you fun. too good love you love you too bye, bye. enjoy animal crossing bye. tell um uh let's see what cats do you you have like all the cats i can't remember any of their names though what's the what's the sphinx's cat name like the egyptian okay. Anka. Tell Anka I say hi. I will. Yeah. I'll tell her that you're making her castle. The perfect. Yeah. She is uh, currently working on a on uh, an island filled with cats and octopi. <laughs> cats and octopi. Like a lot of them. She's got two octopi and like four or five cats maybe. She's got a lot. Of, a lot of cats. All right, so we are working on the edge of our second tower here. Oh, leaf saw, dude, thank you. That's very sweet of you. All right, so now we are doing the edge of this one, and then we'll be, I'll show you guys something fun that I've been working on. And I'll stretch my back as best I can so it doesn't fall off. I'm terrified. I'm not even 30 yet. My back is like, wants to, I feel like I need a back implant, a back replacement surgery. And I'm like, oh no, I'm not even 30. What's going to happen? Am I going to die? <laughs> That would be fun to do some plushies of more Animal Crossing characters. We have done, uh, we've done Gulliver. I actually have Gulliver like right here. I just saw it, and I was like, "Oh, hey, Gulliver!" There he is. We've got Gulliver. He's a sleepy Gulliver, though. This is actually Sir Pearl Gray's pattern, who is a friend of the channel. He probably is going to pop in after a while here. Uh, and this is on the website, actually, if you want to find it. Just at clubcrochet.com slash uh, Gulliver or Animal Crossing. It might be just Animal Crossing. There's a bunch of Animal Crossing patterns there. Okay, let's keep going. One, two. One, two. Yeah, that works. Have I ever made a big one? I have. I think the biggest crochet I have done. I. I mean, I made like a blanket, but the biggest amigurumi I've done is a T Rex that I made using chunky yarn. It was about um, about like about like that big of the little T. Like you know, not that small. I mean, not that big, but relatively big for a crochet project. I personally don't like crocheting. Um, Things with a lot of different parts that get sewn together so I usually like making really tiny things uh, so so when I say like uh, oh this was a big project for me 
usually it's because it's like a lot of little pieces put together that makes it such a big project like um uh like with like a big backdrop and, and a lot of different little characters in it or like stitched my tabletop game they're big projects but they're big projects consisting of a bunch of little projects <laughs> Raven, I don't think I want to trade for your back. <laughs> it sounds like yours is pretty ruined, but you know what? I'll <laughs> I'll take a. I'd I'd love to have a young man's back again. A young man's back. I'm an old guy now. No, it's probably just because I've been like crocheting and hunched over for all my life, or playing video games, or. Actually, I play video games standing up, so that's not too bad. I play video games standing up for that exact reason. I was like, you know, if I'm going to play video games this, this often, I got to be standing up for it just so I don't feel as bad for sitting down playing video games for so long. And now it's like the only way I can play. At least this is the only way I can play competitive video games is standing up. I get very into it. But it also lets me know when I'm done way early, you know, because I can't play video game. I can't play standing up that long, you know, so I play I play less because of that, which is good. By less, I mean, like, probably maybe a normal amount, still probably too much video games. All right. Okay, so we got two towers done. Now, I, as I said, I really said it in the beginning of that one, but... I would love to show you guys something that I made. Oh, by the way, Cherish Broom, I don't know if you are in the chat right now, but I see that you just subscribed, and I want you to know that I really appreciate it. Also, we got a new member. Uh, again, I don't know if you're in the chat, but Robert, I won't say your last name, but Robert, you know who you are. If you're in the chat, uh, thank you so much for signing up to be a member. For signing up for a membership, it counts as a donation. I'm counting them. And so I'm going to put something out for you. So thank you so much for signing up for membership. Let's see what we got here. Something else to help siege this castle, right? So for a membership. Let's see. Let's go with a... Oh, here we go. Another goblin. But this goblin... <laughs> this goblin's got a little hat. Look, this guy is ready. To, he knows what siege. He's sieged many castles before. So we're going to put this guy out for Robert. Thank you for becoming a member. I don't know if you're in the chat, but maybe you'll see this eventually. Thank you. Okay, and now I want to show you something that I've been working on uh, while I've been sick. I've been working on some new tutorials, some new patterns that I think you're really going to like. Uh, uh. <laughs> so I, <laughs> I have a bunch of different kinds here. But first off, I'm going to just show you this is a frog. F-R-A-W-G, a frog. He's very cute. He's made with no sewing at all. There's nothing to sew on. I mean, I, I guess you add this embroidered little mouth, but nothing else is sewn on. And he does have, if you were wondering, he does have a butt. So I'm I just because I know you were wondering if he had a butt. He does have a butt. Uh, and and probably the best part about frogs is that you can do this to them, <laughs> or this. <laughs> so uh, yeah, this is a frog. Uh, it's very cute and very very easy. I have made like like ten of these. Um, I've been hiding them. So when we went on our trip, I made a bunch of them, and I just like hid them in different like. Uh, like when we would go to like a restaurant, I'd leave one behind uh, because they take me like 10 minutes maybe to make one of these. They're so quick and easy to make. So I have a bunch of them. I have one that I put a squeaker in for the cat. So it's actually got like a, you squeak it and it goes. <coughs> so yes, frogs are going to be coming soon. I'm going to add them to my, uh, to rough drafts, even though I don't know. Yeah, they, I mean, there's, they're rough draft. 
Uh, so I'm gonna add them to the rough draft uh, soon, and then uh, I I think these will be new patterns in November. So look out for maybe in November for these patterns, uh, and I'll show you a few more of these later on once I finish a few different pieces here. I'll show you some other stuff I've been making using this frog pattern. So this is a little sneak peek for you. Hope you like him. I like him a lot. He is. Hello. I am just a little frog. We'll put him right. We'll put him over here. Sneak peek for you. I actually am in the random acts of crochet kindness on Facebook. Um, I actually do that. So yeah, I, I'll, I'll I'll put something there. Um, will that be a kit? Yes, it will. Not by itself though. I'm gonna do um, uh, I, I you know I couldn't find it, but there's a lily pad for him that I've made. Uh, I can go look for him in a little bit. Um, but there's a lily pad I made, so I wanted to do a kit where you make two frogs and two lily pads, you know? And maybe I'll include squeakers so you could put squeakers on the inside of them. That might, might be kind of fun. Um, but yeah, I'm thinking that might be the kit for November. I'm still kind of thinking it through, but I thought that'd be kind of fun. So, uh, this is his butt. This is butt. Thank you, butt. Uh, and again, thank you for liking and subscribing. If you haven't yet, please do that. Like this video. How many likes have we got, I wonder? Oh, let's find out. 85, not bad. Not bad at all. Oh, that was a good back stretch. I'm gonna just, I'm just gonna reach down here again because it feels good on my back. Uh, okay, that's good. Let's get back to crocheting. Let's, we're gonna do the base tower now, which is much bigger. Can I please make a Death Note theme? Uh, I've actually never watched Death Note, so I don't think I would do much, uh, much justice to a Death Note theme, to be completely honest. I agree, let's make a goal 100. That'd be great. That'd be awesome. What's them even? <laughs> it's his butt. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six. So the beginning of this is exactly the same, I think. Let's close it in. Yeah? Okay, I'll check it out. I've heard uh, I've heard that I would like Death Note, so I, sh I should check it out. Dude, Sarah, thank you so much. Um, this dragon is supported by uh, is supported by Cooper. He donated, so the dragon came in and flew in to say hi, and he named it Ravenock. Ra Raven. See, I told you I was gonna forget. I should put a little name tag on him. Raven something. Hey, Ezekiel, Ezekiel, if you're in the chat, thanks for subscribing. And same thing to you, Cynthia. Thanks for subscribing. I added a little thing here so I can see when people have subscribed, which is really cool. So thank you. All right, so now I am increasing up. Yes, I've made a bunch of people. Um, uh, my my big patterns that I started like prior to, um, like I started making these a long time ago. I call them pod people. Uh, I can show you a few different pod people. I think I have one of me and some other, like I've got, um, let's see. Here's a, here's a Dracula pod person. You can see. So I got a bunch of different kinds of little pod people like this of different characters. There's an Elvis somewhere. I don't know where he's at, but there's Elvis somewhere in here. Uh, the ones I have most like are Frankenstein and some zombies and stuff like that. So you'll probably see a lot more of these coming up to closer to October though. But yes, I do have little people. Raganov. I was pretty close, right? Raganov. Raganov. And then also their finger puppets. So yeah, I call them pod puppets. Do burbs come from eggs? Wow, what a question. 
Oh boy, I don't know. That is a really good question. I I don't know. Cause I th I've always kind of assumed so the goal the thing with burbs is that they are secret agents. We all have to understand that. They're secret agents sent by something to spy over something. Now, do they come from eggs? I don't know, because maybe they're aliens, and who knows if aliens come from eggs, or maybe they are birds, but they're just different kinds of birds? I don't know. I don't know. They do. Oh, that's true. They do lay them. That's true, Chirp a Little, because the chicken burb lays eggs. I actually think I have a chicken burb right here with an egg in it. Egg ready to rock. Where did I see it? I just saw it. Man, I could have seriously like an entire live stream where I'm just showing you guys little crocheted things, and uh, I would have a lot of fun with that. I might do that eventually. Oh, I don't know where he's at. Hmm. Well, there's a chicken somewhere doing chicken things. I mean, I've got a literally, like, it is a huge tub. I've got two, three of them. i got three big tubs here just filled with crocheted things. Oh, here he is. He's right literally on the top. Check it out. Here's the chicken burb, and he does lay eggs. <laughs> Isn't that cool? You can shoot him. Let's shoot him at Spike here. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yoink. All right. <laughs> okay, I'll do a, maybe I'll do a collection live stream someday. That would be fun. Now I'm thinking about it even more. That would actually be a lot of fun. Okay, I think that's 18. And then now we're on to... Doo -doo -doo, doo -doo -doo. Okay, I gotta use my check marks here. I don't know if you knew about this, but if you are crocheting along with any of my patterns, they have check marks in the patterns so that you can like keep track of your progress. And uh, normally I really like using it, but I keep forgetting while we're in the live stream there. Oh my God, could I design a raccoon? Raven, Raven, hold that thought because 100%, I think that is a wonderful idea and wait. Hold the thought, hold the thought. Um. I love that idea though. Yeah, the answer is yes, definitely. Um, raccoons are my spirit animal, so. I, I really wish that my spirit animal was a hummingbird because I really like to think of myself as something that is very tiny and has a lot of energy and uh, drinks mostly juice. So it could be a, a hummingbird, but I think realistically my spirit animal is a raccoon because I don't sleep. Uh, I'm very uh, shifty and sneaky, <laughs> and uh, and they're also just like so cute. And also, I love to eat trash. I like to eat garbage. Oh my gosh, dude, chirp a little. You gotta send me a picture of when you make a giant burb. I cannot wait. That sounds great. Rehab for for raccoons? You do rehab for raccoons? Are those the raccoons that are just that uh, that live in like near a drug den and they just do raccoon heroin, which is probably like Twinkies, shooting up Twinkies? Behind a, like the 7 Eleven. <laughs> I 
So I'm crocheting this castle pretty tight right now. I think it's probably because of the, like, like I'm in, you know, kind of pain because of my back. So I'm like just crocheting tightly. Uh, but it's turning out really nice because it keeps the, like, it keeps the, the shape of it a lot better. Look at this, like, cookie. It's pretty nice. James the Raccoon Whisperer? I've never heard of James the Raccoon. Oh, J Jamie the Raccoon Whisperer? I've never heard of that, but that sounds really cute. Okay, so now I'm on to round five. Great. This first one is crazy hard to get into the back loop there. But after that, it gets a little easier. <coughs> Chaos. Chaos Cities says, can you make a ghost pattern? <laughs> How about, okay, let's see. Do you want like, do you want like just like a regular ghost like that? Because you can find that at clubcrochet.com slash ghost. Or there's like, um, are you talking like more of like a, uh, like boo because like that you can probably find it like club com slash ghost oh or or were you kind of thinking like uh like ghastly because you can find that at club com slash ghost um let's see what else oh there's a pac-man somewhere in here pac-man ghosts oh here we go you're talking about like a ghost like a pac-man ghost because you can find that one at like club com slash ghost so but yes, I have some crochet ghost patterns, if you're interested. <laughs> it's funny that I had them all like, I already had them like right next to me. A lot of ghost patterns. Bobby, how you doing Bobby? Welcome to the stream. By the way, uh, if you're wondering if you, if I have a specific pattern, um, nine times out of 10, you can probably just search it on the Club Crochet store or search it by going like clubcrochet.com slash and then whatever the name of the item is. And like nine times out of 10, you'll get it. Like castle, clubcrochet.com slash castle. You find my castle pattern. Goblin, you find the goblin pattern. Eventually it'll be clubcrochet.com slash dragon to get to the dragon pattern. Uh, yeah, chirp a little. I am set for Halloween. You could say that. I really like crocheting things for Halloween. There's just a lot of inspiration that comes from Halloween for crochet. Ah. Oh, that's so cute. Just a bunch of family of boos. Daddy boo and mama boo. And baby boo. Baby boo? How is there not a baby boo in Mario Kart yet? We got baby Peach, we got baby Mario. There's a baby Bowser? Right? Is it? Is he called Baby Bowser? No, he's called. Is he called Baby Bowser? I guess he is called Baby Bowser. Do I keep all the trial and error toys? Yes, I do. I, well, I mean, I have them all. Uh, if that's your question, yeah. Um, I should start giving them away or selling them or hiding them places, uh, but instead I just instead pack rat them like the dragon that I am and I sit, sit on a horde of crocheted amigurumi that literally encompass my entire life. I'm surrounded by them now, by my hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of hours of work. <laughs> we got burbs here. Check it out, ready? Here's where all the burbs live. You can't you can only see like half of them, but there's like a bunch of burbs down there. And then we've got just like a boxes and boxes of crocheted stuff that I don't know what to do with other than to like 
look at them every now and then and be like, oh, look at this little thing I've made. It's Bowser Jr., thank you. Yeah, that's what it is. Okay. So we are crocheting along here. This is going to be the hardest part right there. Right here. A goblin couple. That's a wonderful idea, Tina. I was actually thinking for uh, for Valentine's Day this year, it'd be fun to do a goblin, or I mean, not a goblin, like a couple kit, so that like you comes with all the materials, so that you and your significant other can learn to crochet together. Wouldn't that be cute? Peacock burb, 100%. Great idea. Okay. We are on, oh wait, I forgot to do my chain and whatever. Slip stitch, chain. Four, four more rounds of single crochets here, so let's just rock and roll through that. Nai, oh yeah, Na Nahydra, how can you buy something? Message me on um, Etsy. Uh, actually, okay, wait, actually guys, I actually could really use your help here. Um, so. On Etsy, we want to get like a, you can get like the star rating on Etsy by messaging, by by replying to messages quick enough. Uh, and we need like 30 more messages on Etsy to get to that level. So if you could go to Etsy, go to louisloops.etsy.com and message me something there about like like a kit like say like hey how long does it take to ship something or or can i order something custom made if you want something custom made that's literally how you would ask me or if you want to buy any of my crochet things just like hit me up there on etsy but also just uh message me on etsy because that would be cool if you want to you don't have to obviously um but it would help out like a shocking amount um ooh, a sandworm that would be dope Especially like with Dune coming out, that'd be really cool. Just a big old sandworm. I have one sandworm I've made. I think his name is like Jack. Let's see, or ja or Jacqueline or something. He's like a silly looking sandworm. He looks very goofy looking. I'll I'll pull him out eventually. He I don't know where he's at actually right now to be completely honest. <laughs> Alex, Alex says, I'm always amazed how you don't get confused while you're making your patterns while you're talking with us. I get so confused just by counting stitches, lol. You know, uh, I think the trick is learning how to tell where the end of your round is and just like having the confidence that you're not going to mess it up. <laughs> oh, we should do Beetlejuice. Let's do a maybe we could do a Friday night Beetlejuice uh, watch party. That'd be fun. And then we could crochet Beetlejuice. That would be super cool. I love Beetlejuice. I just said Beetlejuice way too. Sorry, that's that was that was my boy Beetle. Hey, how you doing? That's a pretty good Beetlejuice impression. Hey, what, huh? what, what are you doing? Huh? The worm from Beetlejuice would be cool. Let's do an October watch party for Beetlejuice. Yes, pod person Beetlejuice, please and thank you. Absolutely, 100%. I think just in general, I need to put more, 
I, I need to make more pod people. I love them. They're so quick and easy and cool. I need to just do more of them. I really want to come out with that like how to crochet pod people tutorial. Maybe after I finish like the 15 other projects that I started. So how many rounds am I supposed to do here? Four rounds? I definitely think I'm only gonna do, uh, I actually, I shouldn't say definitely. I think I'm only gonna do two towers, two of these side towers for this one, just because my back is like, uh, feels like there's a bunch of little swords in it right now. I think I'm getting attacked behind me. Hats are coming too. Uh, uh, so I'm thinking about doing a new hat each month uh, and just starting that to be like a new tradition is doing a new hat each month. Um, starting with, I think the pirate hat's gonna come out this week on like Thursday or something. And then after that, I'm gonna do, um, let's see, so, that's, so in September, I wanted to do a, um, What was it? I can't remember. There was a hat in September, and then I want to do a witch hat in October, and then a, a party hat in November because it's Club Crochet's like fifth birth, fourth or fifth birthday. And then in December, I want to do, obviously, a Santa hat. Oh, that could be really nice, actually. A hot cold. You know, I'm going to see. Let me finish this up, and then I'm going to go ask Jules if she can get me one of those. Cause I do have, I do have like a hot cold pack thing that I could use. That'd be nice. 12 days of Christmas burbs. I'm in a dragon cage. What? That would be awesome. You know what you could do? We could do a dragon cage out of um, pipe cleaners. But I don't want to put my dragon in a cage. How many rounds am I? Four. Four rounds. So I'm on round three here. Boom. Yeah, I have the heat. I have like one of those like, um, you know, those things that you put in the microwave. I could use that. Even though it is like crazy warm in here, I think that would be nice right now. I'm trying to crack my back. I know I shouldn't, but I'm going to try it. So I do this thing where you, where you cross your legs, right? Like this, cross your legs, and then you just like pull really hard. Sometimes it just, I can't do it. Sometimes it cracks the lowest, the lowest part of your spine, like the very end of your tailbone. Feels amazing. Really, really 10 out of 10 there. I can't get it to happen right now though. Yeah, I'm thinking a little treasure chest for the dragon. Well, I'm gonna do this castle. But also, I think it'd be fun to do a treasure chest where he's like leaning on the treasure chest. He's like, this is my treasure chest now. You know, because he's like this. Oops. Ah, sleepy dragon. Hello, Jello. How you doing? I, I really like your thumbnail, Jello. Tiana, Tiana, I think it's Tiana. Thank you for joining. I appreciate it. Wow, 54 people watching right now. That's pretty good. Whoa, hey, 88 Cheza and Jimmy Kid Gamer. Thanks for subscribing if, you, uh, if you're out there.
<laughs> Thank you, Trip a little for messaging on Etsy. I appreciate it. Hey yo. Uh oh, here we go. <laughs> Sarah, that's a great idea. Putting the uh, magnets in their little feet, maybe. Yeah, that's not a bad idea at all. Because <laughs> we already have, like, you know, you know how I love putting magnets in like the burbs and stuff. So, that's a great idea. I just need to make sure that they don't like accidentally attach to each other, I guess. But it's not a bad idea. Thank you very much. <laughs> Gazoon tight to myself. Yes, a golden egg, of course. How oh, have I been so foolish? Not made a golden egg yet. Okay, so I. Th One, two, three, four. I think that's it. And now I just start decreasing down. And then we do the edging and we're doing great. We're doing great. We're doing great even. How, how's your guys' castle going? Are you guys crocheting? Or how's whatever you guys are crocheting going? Who else is making a castle? And if so, how far along are you? Or who's making a something else oh, it's this is this stitch it's this stitch right there we're just gonna do fake regular backwards then Oh, Sunshine made a mini dino. Finished it up. Warrior Cactus is making a castle. Awesome. Heck yes. Keychain backpack. Brennan wants to make some trees. I'm thinking about doing a new tutorial for some trees because I've been doing a, a decent amount of different kinds of trees recently. Uh, Chaos Cities is having a pillow fight, so, you know, it's, it's Sunday. Like, what time is it? Oh, yeah, it's pillow fight time, so I get it, you know? You gotta, you gotta take your, you gotta take that weekly time to have a nice pillow fight with your brother, uh, each week, or else, what's gonna happen, you know? You gotta do it, you gotta do it. A bed bean? What's a bed bean? Chirp a little, tell us, what is a bed bean? Wait, wait, wait. This little stitch is being a brat. There we go, that should help. That stitch is being annoying though. I think I'm crocheting too tightly. <laughs> ah.
I hear Jimbo. Can you guys hear Jimbo? He's meowing at the door. He's like, I want to crochet. I swear, I really want to crochet. That's it. I just want to crochet. But really, he doesn't want to crochet. He wants to battle. He wants to. He wants the attention for himself. Yeah, I know. <laughs> a bed bean is a... Okay, it's a long-ish bean shape with a face. It's made out of super chunky velvet yarn. It's super soft. That's adorable. A bed bean. As they say. He wants to take over... No, he wants to do more than take over the stream, Coffee and Crochet. He wants to take over the stream and then cancel the stream. Remember when he did that? He definitely wants to do that. <laughs> It's getting into that back thing that's it's just bugging me for this round. But I just but I already started and I'm almost like done with it, so I don't want to stop now. Can't stop me now. I'm hurting up my nail. I'm having a ball. <laughs> Ooh, a you you who? I love you who's. I used to have you who's all the time when I was a kid. My dad would take me to go get hot dogs at um, what was his name? Joe? I think I think it was like Joe's Hot Dog Shack or cart or something like that. Can't remember his name. John? John? John the hot dog guy? Well, whatever. We would go to his hot dog place and he'd give me a free Yoohoo. I loved him. Super good hot dog. Sabrettes. You ever have Sabrettes? Look at me going on a tangent about hot dogs. Never know what you're going to get in a Club Crochet live stream. Is Louie going to go on a rant about hot dogs or... What will we get today? <laughs> All right. Finally finished that annoying round. That one was a hassle for me with my tight little crochets. Oh, that was good. got one good crack out of that all right your grand warrior cactus says that their grandma wants them to crochet a present for her friend's daughter what should they make make them an actual present have you seen the little gift boxes ones make them a present with something in it like a little, little tiny crocheted thing that would be really cute and also, yeah, burbs are always a great gift. Alex, yes, I absolutely. I craft a lot of different kinds of stuff. Um, I like to make... I like to uh, to whittle a lot. Um, I haven't done it in a while, but I used to whittle a lot. I like to do that. Um, I've done some metal crafting. I've done some needle felting. Uh, I've never done too... I haven't done too much embroidery other than like um, on my crocheted pieces, but I think I would enjoy embroidery a lot, and I think I would enjoy um, ceramics a lot. Um, I've done some glass blowing once; that was super fun. I'd I'd love to do glass blowing more often. 
But yes, I have done other craft. Oh, burbs dressed up for trick or treating. What is like a spooky bird? A crow? A crow. Maybe we should do a crow. All right. Another round done. I think we're on our last round here for the, other than doing the edging. this stitch here fighting me it's like no I don't want to be a crocheted stitch too bad <laughs> all right so we got one two three four five six that's it at that stuff it up A raven, I should say. Yeah, not maybe not a crow, but a raven. Ooh, a vulture would be cool. cool. Oh, yeah, whittling. Yeah, what raven just said. Uh, whittling is using, like, a little knife. Um, I have, like, specialized whittling knives. They're... Like, they kind of look like crochet hooks, honestly, with little exacto, different kinds of exacto knives on the end. Some with, like, some that are a little round, and some that are very ch straight. And they're all very sharp. And then you just cut the wood. Um, I've done a lot of tiki masks. I really like making those. Uh, it can be dangerous. I've never really cut myself whittling, um, but it can be. Uh, we get a lot of driftwood here because uh, we live right next to the beach. So driftwood's pretty soft. It's pretty easy to crochet with. I mean, depends on the kind of wood, but usually it's pretty easy to to uh, to whittle with. And so it's not really too dangerous, but it's really nice to just go out there on a day and sit out in the sun and whittle. That's pretty good. Okay. All right, so we've got to just sew this closed and then we can add the edging and then I could show you, I showed you the frog. Which, what, guess, guess what's next? What do I have to show you other than the frow? Go ahead and do a guess. I'm very curious what you think I have. <laughs> Go out the side here. Oh, and Jack, yeah, that's right. You want to see Jack. I'll show you Jack, too. Jack, come out and say hi. Is it the same one? Oh, okay. So the castle's edging actually has more of these. Pull through, slip stitch, and then... Half double crochet one, chain one, sorry, I'm not in camera, and then slip stitch one. Right? And then 
Oh, no, no. It's the same. Okay. One. Two. I guess there was going to be more, more edging because of just it's a larger piece, but yeah. Goblin with glasses? He's right there. Warrior cactus? Spike? This is Spike. He's right there. He's being protected by this great dragon. New space? A new space things? You want me to make more space stuff? That'd be fun. There's going to definitely be a new... Ooh, new octopus. People think a fly. Great guess. Gnomes. Yeah, gnomes. Gnomes would be great. Uh, I'm sure gnomes will be a thing soon. But not yet. Tadpoles. All right. Interesting. Interesting. Oh, the chat covers him up. I see, because you're watching on your phone. Yeah. Here you go. There you go. Now the chat can be right here. I don't know if that's actually how it's going to work, but probably, right? It looks like fingers of a giant thing. Oh, whoa. See ya, Tiana. Everybody likes gnomes. I like gnomes too, actually. All right, a couple more. I think there's eight of these in total. Three, four, five, six, seven. Oh wait, this would be eight. Did I mess up somewhere? I don't know, maybe. Um, let's see, one, two, boom, one, two, boom. I feel like there's Oh wait, no, one, two, three, four. Uh, okay, I already have six. I, okay, it'll be eight. It'll still be eight. I like to see a witch. Alex thinks it's a witch. I already have a witch done. Witch patterns out. Another one of those pod people ones. Okay, just a couple more, two, two more slip stitches, and then I can hide the end and show you show you a secret. Alex, way ahead of you, dude. Uh, uh, I don't know if I have it in here. Yeah. Oh yeah, here. There is a cauldron for it too, but way ahead of you, Alex. And she's a finger puppet too. Got a little, she's got her broom. Another one of those pod people patterns. Okay. Let's hide this end.
Boom. Okay, so we got our medium side or the large base tower done. We're gonna have to make another tower that's gonna go on top of this. But before we get to that, I'd love to show you something that I made. If I can tuck that in there. There we go. Okay. So you've seen... Put, let's put our castle pieces over here for just a sec. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. So you've seen the frog, right? And I looked at this frog. And what did I think? I thought, oh, this is so cool. I bet you I could turn this into other things too. And so what I also made, we have a frog. And we have, gotta, gotta tweak the edge a little bit. Again, no sewing whatsoever. It is a mouse, a mouse, M-A-W-S-E, a mouse. No sewing, do you hear that? None. The ears are made in the round, the eyes, the nose. This is even his tail I made without sewing anything on. Isn't that crazy? I'm really pushing the limit there and I gave him a little tuft of hair too. So now we've got, there's a mouse and a frog and you're gonna start to see a pattern here. There we go. Let's have Jack say say a couple things real quick for good old Tina. I saw you, Tina. I know you I know you want to say hi to Jack. Jack. Yo yo yo, buddy. What? Eh? Alright. Um he's pretty sleep. Buddy. <laughs> what? Tina? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I love Tina. She's great. Hello, everybody. You like his mouse? Yeah, I like the mouse, too. You like the mouse, Jack? Yeah, I think it's pretty cool. Hey, everybody, my name's Jack Gurgle, and that's important because I'm important. Mm -hmm. Everybody should know that. I still got my top hat on. You see it right there? You like my top hat? I like my top hat, too. Um, I'm wondering how much this mouse how good this mouse tastes. I don't think the mouse is gonna taste too great, but you can try it, I guess, if you want to. I'm just gonna go ahead and just... Pretty good. Not bad at all. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And this, uh, this frog here, I don't, please don't eat the frog. I would actually rather you not eat the frog because it's like, I don't have too many left of them. And so it'd be better if you just start. Jack, buddy, come on, dude. That one didn't taste as good. That's because it gives you a, he's actually has some like weird stuff in his, um, in his yarn that makes it a little less tasty. I don't believe you. I don't think that's true. Nah, 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 nah. You're lying. You just don't want me to eat your frog, huh? Well, of course, I don't want you to eat my frog, but... Mm. What are the ones you got to show us? I'll show you them after, after I finish another piece of our little castle here. We're making a castle. I know you love... Ca don't you think about eating that castle. I'm gonna eat that castle. Don't you eat that castle. I need that castle for castle things. I'll be back soon. Don't eat my castle. <sighs> you can never trust Jack. You can't trust him. He's untrustworthy. Okay, I'll be right back. <laughs> I'll be right back really quick. Uh, uh, I'm gonna see if Jules can make one of those hot pads for my back. And I'll be back in uh, just a sec, like literally, like less than a minute. Be right back.
Pew, 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 pew. Pew, pew. All right. I'm back. Jack does eat all the things. That is absolutely accurate. He really likes munching on. You know what he really likes eating the most is tips. He really likes it when people tip because then he can eat the tip, which I think is so ridiculous because it's like I, I needed that tip for like money reasons and he's like eating it always. But whatever. Oh, we got Jimbo. You want to say hi, buddy, before I kick you out? Come here. Come here. Come here. You want to say hi? Don't turn off the chat, though, okay? Come here. Come here, Jimmy. Oh, this is Jiminy Cricket. This is Jimbo. Say hi. No, you just want to purr. Can you hear him purring? Here, let's see. <laughs> hi, friend. He's very sweet, very cute. Do you want to say hi in the, in the... Oh, boy. This was a mistake. Okay, come on, bud. Oh, God. Stop. All right, Jimbo, come on. I shouldn't have put him in here. This was a terrible idea. I love you. Goodbye. So that's Jimbo, the the attention-seeking kitty. He's very sweet, but he really, really, really likes attention. Wow. Toe beans! He's very sweet. He's a good boy. Yes, he is part ragdoll. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Big hug to Jimbo. <laughs> I'm glad you guys got a chance to say hi to him. Okay. Um. Well, let's continue crocheting. Hey, by the way, Gregory, I don't know if you're in the chat or not, Uh, but G Gregory, thanks for subscribing. And if you haven't yet, you should like and subscribe. Um, and also... Again, this pattern is not going to be free forever, so get it now if you want it. I'll up the brightness just a little bit. Um, yes. Okay. Let's keep rocking and rolling. We are on to the... I just made the large base, and I've made two skinny towers. So now we've got to make a medium tower, and then the topmost peak on top of that tower. And now we've got a hot rainbow to put on my back. <laughs> it's very hot. Thank you. Welcome. Hot rainbow. I'm going to be sweating my butt off. I already took one, actually. Yeah. All right. I'll just sit back a little bit more while we crochet a... What are we making? We're making the, the medium, medium-sized tower. Um, yes. We got 200 likes! How many we got? 112. Way more than 100. Very cool. Wow, the background music is really quiet. There we go. All right, let's keep rocking and rolling, huh? Ooh, that 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 hot. It it does feel good. Yo, Katie, made the Chubzilla. That's awesome. Stranger Danger, welcome. I don't, you've probably been here for a while, but first time I'm seeing you, so hello. Yeah, we've all have. That's true. It has been a heat wave kind of summer. No. 
Milk cotton? What the heck is milk cotton? Is it like made of milk? That doesn't seem like a thing that you would crochet with, but I am very interested what milk cotton is. Sounds gross. <laughs> Sounds weird. But I will check it out. Let's see. Ooh, Coffee and Crochet is a fan of milk cotton. Whatever it is. Do, do, do they have soy milk cotton? Do they do almond milk cotton? How weird, huh? I'll check it out. Melbell and a fan of lily sugar and cream. Sometimes mixed with bamboo. You know, I tried this one from a uh, Lion brand that was like really soft that I liked. Uh, I've been using that a few times. It's like a cotton, I think it's 100% cotton. It's just very soft. But it pills a lot. That's the thing I don't like about it. I don't like it with my when my yarn pills too much. Ooh, all right, this is gonna be the tough one here. Do I have a favorite? Personally, Alex, I really like Lily Sugar and Cream. I use it for pretty much everything. Um, pills, yeah, Chaos Cities. Pills is when a uh, yarn like creates little like fuzzies on it. Let me see if I can find one. Um, this one, this one might be pilling a little bit. Let's see. Well, it doesn't really. This one hasn't pilled very much, but it's basically when like this fuzz that's on the edge of it. Let me zoom in. See how it's got like this fuzz on it, right? But sometimes this fuzz will like turn into like little balls over time, like kind of like that, kinda like little, you get the, these little balls of fuzz. That's what pilling looks like. And it's just really annoying. You gotta like pluck it off of it and it just, look at now he's got a little, little fuzz thing. This is the werewolf pattern by the way. But yeah, so they'll pill like that and you gotta like pluck off little balls of fuzz. Some yarn does it. Uh, Lily Sugar and Cream, I have not had that problem with, but uh, I have had other yarn that pills, and it's very, it's fr it's just frustrating. It's just like, ah, gross. Why is it doing that? I mean, it's not really gross, but yeah. That's what pilling is. Yeah, age and like use uh, does it, Chaos City. Um, it like just like over time, things will just kind of pill or if they're like rolled around a lot, if they're used for things a lot. Um, yeah, or like washing it will all like often make things pill. Yeah, it's just little soft fuzz balls. Sweaty hands, yeah. Oh, it's stretchier. I actually don't like it when my when my yarn for Amigurumi is stretchy, personally, because 
it doesn't keep its shape as much. I really like the fact that this cotton is like moldable, where I could like take this and I could like push it in like that and it'll like hold that shape of like that. I like that a lot. With stretching yarn, you don't really get that as much. But that being said, I still would like to try. I'd like to try this weird milk cotton thing out. How we're doing here? How many rounds do we gotta do? Three, three more rounds on top of this first round. Oh, dude, Hamilton, I'm way ahead of you there. Yeah, totally, dude. First off, Hamilton, how you doing, my dude? Hope you're doing well. We should hang out soon. Let's do a, let's play Stitched or something. Hit me up, text me. Uh, but also Hamilton uh, just said what I've definitely been thinking, which is this is like basically a rook already. Um, I should do, I've been working on a pawn, uh, but I think a crocheted chess set is like a just super cool idea. And I'd really like to make one. I should put more work into that. Be a good pattern for next year. But yeah, you're right. Like this is basically a rook already. We got um, just maybe just to do a base on it, like just some kind of like flatter base so that it stands up a little bit better would be nice. And maybe some like texture here, but that'd be cool. Rooks and pawn king yeah and and you know what this is a pretty good solid start for a queen also i just wish i was better at chess i'm not good at chess my count here just to make sure I'm not off at all one two three <laughs> four I like that idea Hamilton Six. at least something to weigh it down a little bit Yeah, okay, we're on we're doing fine on count. That is we are perfectly on track, baby. Yeah, I agree. I yeah, quarters of your nest. Yeah, I usually do nickels, uh for like I usually put one nickel in the bottom of this guy. You might even be able to see it. I can feel it in there. But yeah, there's a nickel in this one. Um I usually put nickels in the bottom of my like main characters, just one. Um, but if I don't have nickels, I usually do like three pennies is about similar of a weight, maybe four. Um, yeah. You know, I found actually Raven, you know, it's funny. I was doing the math for that. Um, you're right. Those glass stones are, uh, uh, uh almost, they're actually a little bit lighter than a nickel, but they're almost the weight of a nickel 
like we're talking like 0 0.00 grams or something, but it actually costs more per um, per glass stone than it does per ni like nickels are actually the cheapest weight that you can add into items. At least that's what it's found for me because I've been looking into different little weight options for kits because I you know obviously I want to make it cost less if I less if I can. And it turns out that it costs less for me to use nickels for my kits than it does for anything else, like to add weight. Isn't that funny? I just thought that was funny. It's also because of shipping and stuff. You know, it I got to pay for it to be shipped over and stuff. Uh, whereas nickels, I can just go to a bank and get a bunch of nickels. Yeah, I think Alice, that, that'd be really cool. I think a chest set would be neat. Agreed, chirp a little. Might as well just use these your pennies that you have to stuff into your amigurumi because Using them for money is just not worth it at all. In fact, we should just get rid of our pennies. I think. I think we should just get rid of our pennies. Round up to the nearest five cents and get rid of all pennies. I would be down for that. Um, I don't need to decrease this one, actually, which is nice because it just gets sewn onto this larger tower, uh, which is great because I really don't like decreasing these. They're kind of annoying to do. Um, so we're just going to keep it like that and uh, add the castle edging. I had a little bit of a long end here so we can sew it on. And we'll add some edging to it. Yeah, washers, they're kind of like little, yeah, like what Hamilton said. They're basically like little circles with a little hole in the center of it. Um, they're what you put in between screws to give it a little bit of space. <clears throat> I don't think so, Crafty Chats, because you're not, like, ruining the currency at all. You're just... Like, it's in there. It's not, like, burning a dollar or something. And honestly, even if you were, whatever. <laughs> They're going to get you. Oh, wait. Was I, I'm supposed to chain one and then slip stitch. Yeah, I'd be pretty shocked if you got in trouble for stuffing amigurumi with nickels. I'm usually, usually pretty lax about legal things like that, though. So. Imagine paying with gob. I swear, there's like 50 bucks inside this goblin. You just gotta cut it open. <laughs> paying with goblin. Do you guys take goblins here? <laughs> Do 
What's your guys' goblin policy? You just got a box of them. Yeah. What's your guys' goblin policy? Oh, we're at the beginning of the... Something now. I want this adventure of soundtrack instead, though. It's more epic. Oh, yeah. Well, Jack... Yeah, Jack Gurgle is probably, like, 90% money at this point. He just eats money, so. You know how much it costs to have a Jack Gurgle? It's like, gotta give him like 20 bucks a day. It's crazy. Just to keep him satisfied so he doesn't complain all the day. Because if you don't, he's like, hey, uh, where's my money? Yeah. So I've been playing a lot of the Skyward Sword. I just saying it because it's talking the the songs right now, and uh, I like it. I like it a lot, actually. It's pretty good. Um, it gets a little bit slow at times, but I still do very much enjoy it. Anybody else been playing it? And if so, what do you think? It's no Breath of the Wild, but I mean, what is? <laughs> With the token of gob. Oh my god. Yeah, we're gonna start a new coin. Alright. So we need to sew this onto this first. So we'll start with that. I'm going to try to keep the the ends here because you see there's a little sewing thing. I'll, I'd like to keep that on the same side. We'll use this middle one first. You don't like Breath of the Wild, Melbell? You don't like Breath of the Wild, Melbell? Oh, man. You're a crazy person. You're si you're psycho. You're crazy. I guess it's no Picross, huh, Melbell? <laughs> Melbell's really into Picross. Oh, I like the weapon breaking thing, actually. I'm a big fan of that. It makes you be more creative. Now, Picross is the bomb. <laughs> Picross is really cool, though. <laughs> Legit, I do like Picross a lot. I think it's a cool game.
We're flying. Look at me. Look at me flying. Whee! So think about other things you could do with this castle. Like, what other... What? How could you customize this castle to make it more interesting? Other than doing, like... A Dracula castle, or like a maybe a specific castle from a specific game or world. Like maybe make the the castle from uh, Disneyland. I don't know. Just think about that because we're gonna be running a challenge for this castle for like a crochet your own castle soon. I think so you can um, make your own and maybe win some money. I guess I could stuff it a little bit now. Where am I flying? I'm on my way to Mount Vesuvius. Wee! Ooh, a falcon on top. Or a little burb. That'd be funny. Castle, candy castle. Oh, candy castle. Zoe, great idea. Think about this, because we're going to be doing it soon. Very soon. Like maybe this week we'll start it. But again, uh, Victoria, we need to talk about that. Hello. Oh, okay. Um, you can if you'd like to. I wouldn't. I wouldn't mind that. Yeah, a haunted castle would be way cool. Have a good trip to Vesuvius? Yeah. Great, I'll be close to Malta. You can hang out with me, trip a little. You come you wanna come climb Vesuvius with me? I'll give you a I'll give you a ride. Whee! That's me flying. I don't know if I would want my superpower to be being able to fly or not. I mean, I guess I would. I mean, I wouldn't want to not have any superpower, but I would really like to be able to stop time and just take naps. <laughs> or, or go back or forward in time. Although that's a pretty powerful power. Powerful power. This is going pretty well, pretty good. I like this. Oh yeah, what other materials? Could maybe make one out of. Can you have it? Yeah, thank you. Yeah. How's my, my back hurts. It hurts, but it's okay. It's been hurt. It, it's fine. It'll stop hurting eventually, and then I'll die. So it'll be great. <laughs> my superpower is to crochet. Yes. They call me the hooker. All right. I want to put. Wait, let's see. What do I do next? Oh, I got to do the topmost peak. And we wanted green for the peak. A green towered tower. Or did you want to do teal? A lot of people are saying teal. So here's the difference. Okay, so we got green. 
And then our dragon's wings are teal. So we could do a teal tower. Let's just do green. We said green. Let's do green. All right. It's the topmost peak. Ooh, this is a, this one's this one's this one's spi this is a spicy hot pet. I'm gonna give it a sec. It hurts. It's a little too hot. I would love to visit Pompeii. That would be really cool. Yeah, green. Okay, we're going to... Yeah, we're sticking with green anyhow. Perfect even. Perfect even. So, Hamilton, what are you up to right now? What You, you crocheting too? We're going to be done pretty soon, actually. One. Increase. Oh, I forgot to show you. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Beep, beep. Putting putting this putting this topmost peak on pause for just a second because I need to show you another piece. Another thing I made. Okay, so we got Sorry, I'm getting my hot pad in position. Okay, so we've done I've shown you our Oh, that's right. Jack ate both of them. I don't even know. I honestly don't even know where they are. Oh, well. Okay. So we had a, a frog somewhere that Jack ate. We had the mouse. The mouse. The next one that I wanted to show you is a cout. Look at the cout. A cow tea. <laughs> cow tea. This is the kitty cat. So you can see, I'm really uh, going uh, flying high here when it comes to these uh, these mini little animals. Look at how cute this little dude is. He looks like Garfield a little bit. I kind of wish I made him an orange instead of brown. But for our first try, not bad, right? Not bad at all. Tail... The ears are sewn on, and the little nose here is sewn on, but for the majority, it's pretty good. It's, it's all one piece. Hamilton was making a giraffe. Uh, oh my god, can you imagine a giraffe looking like one of these? That'd be cute. What do you think? A cat. Yes, a cat. <laughs> Thanks, Andy. I should make a cow. A cow would be very cute too. So that's this one. Once I make this topmost peak, I'll show you the the last one that I have so far. But a raccoon, Alex and Raven were talking about raccoons earlier. I think a raccoon would be great. Exactly, Raven. It's the same kind of body, but different kind of critters using that same body. At least that's what I've been doing. And I have been addicted to it. The mouse is the cutest. Oh, oh, the mouse is right here, actually. It's right next to me. There's the mouse. Dude, Happy Gaming Headquarters. Thanks for subscribing. You have to now. You said you would. You better do it. You, you said you would. Okay, so we did... Um, okay, so now we just need a slip stitch here. A cow and a pig. That's what you want next. Uh, wait till you see the next one. I can't wait till you see the next one. You're going to love it. You're going to love it. You're going to love the way you look. I guarantee it. Yes, I am Happy Gaming Headquarters. I am reading the chat. 
And I'm going to know if you subscribe or not. I can see when people subscribe. So, you better do it. Or else, you're going to be... I'm going to sue you for lying to me. <laughs> a pig would be really cute. Yes, I could totally do a little pig like that. By the way, thanks to uh, Marina, who has subscribed recently, and Alice... Alice, Alicia? I think it's Alicia. Thanks for subscribing, guys. Should you make a giant burb or a giant version of your mini burb? I would say make a giant burb. That's my opinion, Chirp a little, but you do you, dude. It is up to you. Yo, Hamilton! Oh, crap, Hamilton. Thank you. Why are you doing that for? I'm gonna, you know, I'm just gonna pay that forward for next time we hang out by buying you a beer. Well, a very expensive beer. <laughs> Dude, Hamilton, thank you again. You're great. Thank you. That was really nice of you. And you know what? We're gonna put something out for you. We got a dragon out. Do you want a dragon? Or, uh, or... An ogre? How about an ogre? Who don't like ogres? Ogres. How about this ogre? Well, you let me know. If you want a dragon instead, uh, uh, speak now or forever hold your peace. Forever hold your peace. I do have a cool ogre to show you, though, if you want an ogre. They'll be both right here. You make the decision. But, dude, thank you so much. Seriously, I really appreciate that. Thank you. But can you see this? Ha ha ha. One. Oh, girl, it's half layers. That's true. And this ogre has got some rock and roll layers. Uh, so this is going to be out for you, Hamilton. He does have a name. I don't know what his name is. I can't remember. We made him on live stream like two years ago, maybe. Um, and so he's got some kind of name. I don't remember what it is. But uh, if you would like to give him a cute nickname, you go for it, Hamilton. And if someone wants to figure out what his name was, look back, you let me know. Uh, but we're going to put our ogre out right here to watch and rock and roll as we finish crocheting up the topmost peak. Oh, there's I totally need to make a dragon burb. Absolutely. <laughs> Sarah. Heck yeah, dude. Ogres are the best. Okay. I think this is my last stitch for this. Let's see. Well, yeah, we're good. Man, that ogre's gigantic in the camera. It's funny how the ogre is bigger than the dragon. All right, so we're going to put this right in the middle. Shrek. Shrek. 
All right, so now we just need to sew this uh, this on, and then we can start attaching everything together, which will be fun. Or else. It'll be fun or else. As they say. Was it Oscar? Was it Oscar the Ogre? Maybe. I like the name. Double scoop of spooky ice cream. Mmm, look at this spooky ice cream. Yum. <laughs> That's funny. I like that. Oh, you're guessing it's Oscar. Well, I like that name, Oscar the Ogre. Oscar the Ogre sounds like just such a nice ogre. Yeah, it's like dripping down, yeah. Let's stuff it up a little bit before we finish sewing this on. Barry Good asks, says, I'm an absolute beginner and I get knots when doing some stitches and I've also tried doing plush work, but it doesn't end well. Any advice? My advice uh, I mean, I could give you, I, I got a lot of advice, but I would say my base, my best advice is find a pretty simple pattern that's really small. Um, for example, uh, I have my little Triceratops pattern, there's my little heart pattern, or the little octopus pattern that came out a few weeks ago. Um, you can find them by just going to clubcrochet.com and going through browse. Uh, but the octopus pattern is a great one to start with. And the reason I say find a small pattern like that is because you can do it over and over again with very little time commitment. So you can make like, in, you can sit down for an hour and have made something and it might not be great, but you did it. And then you could do it again. Um, that's what my biggest advice is. Try the same pattern more than once and it'll it'll help out a lot. It'll, it'll help you get, um, you'll get a lot better at it a lot quicker by doing the same pattern over and over. And if you do a small pattern, it won't be a time commitment. Um, so that's that's a pretty solid tip, in my opinion. I think that's pretty good. Um, also, definitely go with patterns with video tutorials in the very beginning because that's just gonna help you out a lot. Again, that's the octopus pattern for you. Go do the octopus pattern. It's really simple uh, and yeah, good place to start. Um, Chirp a little says, what kind of yarn are you using? Asking very good. That's a great another question. Uh, try maybe using a little bit bulkier yarn than my the, the worsted weight cotton yarn that I use. Something with a little bit more heft. Uh, it'll be a little bit easier for you to get in and out of stitches. That being said, you might see your stuffing through your pieces if you're making things like amigurumi. Um, if you use something with too much, like that's too, uh, that if you use yarn that's a little too big. so. Don't go like too crazy big with it in the beginning. Um, you know, stay a little bit small. Uh, and maybe use a crochet hook that just barely is good enough for it. Big enough for it, That'll, that might help a little bit too. Um, I think that's pretty good solid starting advice. Uh, Hamilton seems like a Trevor. Yeah, I could see a Trevor. I could see him being Trevor. Um, okay, so we got the topmost peak. Now we have to attach the towers Attaching two, okay, so we want to attach two. Here's what we want to do. We want to hold it upside down, so we got a little um, ice cream cone here. Creepy little ice cream cone. Okay. 
Turn one skinny tower upside down. Okay. Got it. So we want to start like this. I'm just gonna cut this end here. Well, no, I won't. I won't cut that end. Like that, and do chain one. That's just the single crochet eight. Um, Emerald, uh, how do you get the castle pattern? I don't see a download option. So the pattern's on that site. If you go to clubcrochet.com slash castle and you can scroll down, that's where the pattern is. You can't download the pattern unless you have a membership account. So you need a membership to download the patterns on the website. So um, memberships, you can get a free trial if you would like to try it, um, and then you can cancel it at any time. Uh, but memberships also only cost $5 a month, so they're not too bad. Uh, and you get access to downloading all the patterns on the website. Hope that hope that answers your question. Four. Actually, I'm gonna do one more here because I think I was supposed to do my first one a little different. Okay, so there's that. Oh wait, never mind. Okay, so now we gotta take our big tower. We wanna continue into one of these back loops. I guess it doesn't really matter which one, so let's just go into that one. Almost eight. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, right? Mm-hmm. Just give me tower. We can try to do little windows in this. Yes, I'm, I'm only making with two skinny towers, Warrior Cactus, instead of four. Just because I've been going for three hours now and it would take me probably another hour, maybe more to do another two towers. One, two, three, four, five, six. But we still have to add, we still have to add a, um, a drawbridge anyhow. So we'll get, we got a little bit more work. I think we've got probably another 30 minutes left. If you're sticking around. Am I making the dragon pattern? Uh, Joy asks, 
Uh, am I planning on making the dragon pattern available? He's so cool. Yes. Um, thank you for asking. Yeah, that is the pattern that's going to be out uh, early next month. Um, if you would like to. Um, it's actually going to be this month's kit. So if you sign up for a pro membership to the website, um, you'll get a you'll get the option to either get a green uh, to make a green dragon. Here's a green dragon that's sleeping right now. Well, he's he's just hanging out. Or a red dragon. Uh, and don't no. Oh, the red dragon's all the way over there, so I can't get it. Um, but you'll be able to make either a green or a red dragon and everything's actually posable too So this guy's in a sleeping position, but it's actually the exact same as this one So you can pose all the different pieces. It comes with wire for all the little um, parts uh, And you but you need to sign up now So you have until the end of the month to sign up for the pro membership to get the kit for these uh, But the pattern will be coming out uh, soon as well um, and it'll be available for members uh, It'll start by being available for members, and then it'll be available for purchase um, after that. Uh, but if you have a membership account, uh, you'll get access to it. And membership accounts are a lot cheaper. So if you'd like to check it out, that's how to do it. And it will come out soon. Go back to the base tower, skip two stitches, and then sing crochet 10. And I am working on stats for a dragon um, for Stitched as well. So if you're interested in the game Stitched, that's my tabletop game that you make from home. Uh, you can look, learn more about it by going to stitchedthegame.com. And I'm trying to add a dragon to that game so you could play with a dragon as well. Uh, but I haven't come, I haven't like released anything on that yet. So we'll we'll learn more about that later. But it, that is the plan. Yes, this is um, this is basically the same thing as the sandcastle. Yes. Um, two and three. I don't even know if I need to slip stitch. I think I could just use a hidden end there at the end. Um, and then we want to just sew it together a little bit and then add a drawbridge. But we're coming together here. The idea is going to be the sleeping dragon's going to be like this on it. Maybe we'll put the wing around it like that. I don't know. We can try to have the tail wrap around this way too and have his head maybe turn that way more. We'll mess with that in a little bit though. Let's start by cutting this. Uh, you know what, Melbell? I'm actually working on that. Uh, I think when I come out with the um, Kickstarter for it, uh, one of the things that I want to do is come out with a um, tabletop simulator version for Stitch so you can play it online. We can play a game together. That's that's the plan. But there, you know, there's so many things I need to do for that. I need to make a uh, 3D models for it and stuff like that so there's going to be more work involved
But yeah, I know. I I knew you were gonna be stoked about that. Yeah, that's definitely part of the plan. And I have been. I have had someone working on some three D models, but they kind of dropped off. The, like. They they just kind of stopped answering my stuff. So I need to figure it out. Explain what stitched is. Oh, I would be more than happy to, Raven. So stitched is my tabletop game that you make from home. It's war you can craft. It's a um, it's a tabletop game where all your pieces are made out of arts and crafts. So I crochet all my pieces, but you can make them out of whatever you want. You can make them out of um, out of clay or Legos or little pod. Uh, like little pogs of cardboard um, I have crochet patterns for all of this stuff for them and I am working on a version of pop out cardboard pieces that you color or paint yourself if you want um, that's going to be coming out with the Kickstarter probably in January i uh, got a little bit more work to do there I'm, I'm working on like making sure all the prototypes are work right and stuff like that um but yeah, it's like a tabletop game. It's very much kind of like um, it's like a role-playing strategy game. Basically, you control a mercenary team of goblins, trolls, orcs, and ogres. Here are some goblins. Here's an ogre, and you have a set amount of actions each turn. You use a six-sided dice to determine how many actions that you have on your turn. Uh, and you, it's you versus like another player, so like a friend. And um, uh, each turn you use the, your actions to move and uh, attack and cast your way through the battlefield uh, to victory. Um, there are things like you can mine for gold in the game and you can cast magic spells at a relic. Uh, and yeah, it's very cool. It's very like role playing. Uh, it's got some Dungeons and Dragons feels to it. Uh, it kind of feels like Warhammer, if you've ever played Warhammer. But it's a lot more simplistic. It's very easy to play. Uh, and everything in the game is played with a six-sided dice or uh, with a playing card. So you measure your distance in the game using a playing card. So this is actually my abridged version of the rules. Here you can see all the things you can do. You can move, attack mine defend cast grab steal or purchase uh, and these are the actions that you have so in the beginning you roll a six out of dice if you roll one or two you get three actions blah 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 uh, and then here are different characters this is just a simplified version of the menu of characters you can play but when you move and stuff uh, this is an ogre who goes slowly you can see right there he's got an s on his name right there uh, and that's because he moves using the l the width of a playing card Whereas these guys move using the length of a playing card because the goblins move like that. And you measure everything based on the um, base of your character. So for this guy, he moves slow. And so if you go like this, that's how far he moved. So that's how the game is kind of played. Those are some little bits of rules to it. Uh, it is very cool. I highly suggest you check it out. Um, it's yeah it's like the coolest the thing that i'm most proud of um so i hope you like it i'm very proud of it i think it's cool as i've said about a million times now but yeah um Melbell just posted the link in the description there but um if you don't have that link or you're watching this later it's just at stitchedthegame.com um, you can spell stitched with an ED or without an ED. But yes, check it out. I'm working on a brand new website for it with all the rules there too and stuff like that. There's going to be a book coming out with all new characters. and Each character has different abilities and stats that you can use. It can get a little complicated, but honestly, it's... It, once you start play like one game of it it's a lot simpler it's a lot more simple to play than uh it sounds but yeah that's stitched okay so we got our 
got our sides all attached. Now we just need to hide all these ends and then add a um, a drawbridge. Probably this side actually we want to add a drawbridge. Yeah, the games are pretty quick. I would say the games are about 30 minutes, maybe to uh, 15 to 30 minutes. Sometimes the games last a while, like an hour, but it's not too bad. It's, it's, it's simple enough that I would say probably ages six and up. Well, I would say maybe seven and up could play. Um, can a 10 year old with special needs? I mean, I would maybe, uh, I don't know. It depends on the special needs, I suppose. But uh, probably, uh, probably like the simple version of the game. It's not that complicated. You might need to help with some of the math, um, but strategy-wise, I think yes. I think I think a ten-year-old can play it. Just double knot these and get rid of these little knots too. Everything's coming up Millhouse. Oh, Sunshine. I mean, yeah. Yeah, watch a live stream of me playing it. Um, Melbell just said it in the chat there. Uh, you can find the live streams just by checking out old. Club Crochet videos. Uh, I also have a few live streams of me playing it in um, uh, my Louis Loops YouTube channel as well if you'd like to check it out there. Um, I think there's a few extra games there. So yeah, either one of those places would probably be the best to check out some live games of me playing it. Okay, so next thing, we got our castle basically done, but we do want to add a drawbridge to our castle. So we need some brown, some brown. And then we need to add a little flag on top, of course. I agree, actually, Melbo. I think I kind of do like the small castle like this a little bit more than the big one. I actually have a big one here. You can see the difference. I mean, the big one's nice, though. The big one is, is not bad. I, I do like it. But the small ones, it's kind of, I don't know, it's just kind of nice. Simplified. Okay, so we want to add a drawbridge here. You want a long end, okay. And chain six. Warrior Cats likes it with the... <laughs> Water. Water, Sandy. I've tried playing a few games with the... Um, with these castles actually in stitched where instead of at the home base there's a flag um so in stitched there is a you can win by either capturing the flag um uh each each player has a flag at their home base it's usually a hat but you can either win by capturing the flag uh killing the entire enemy's team or um uh casting five magic rituals in the relic um, relics, this is the relic, by the way. This is the relic. So it's got these little five spots here, and you put little gems in them. So when you cast a magic spell, you put gems in there. 
Um, but I tried a few games with the castles at your home base also, letting you, instead of stealing the flag, you can destroy the castle. It's like another new way you can play the game. Um, it's been pretty cool. I need to put more rules and effort into like testing it out, but yeah. For how long is this... Warrior Cat wants to know how long this pattern is going to be free. So this pattern is probably going to be free for the next few days, but realistically, probably a little bit longer since I'm going to be doing um, a challenge with this pattern. And whenever I do challenges, I, I like to make the pattern free. So it'll probably... Uh, It'll probably be free for a little bit. Um, I, I wouldn't... I would make it sooner rather than later, but not too long, basically, is what I'm saying. Nice slip stitch, huh? Oh, interesting. Noir, um, th that's funny. Noir, that's actually like the third time I think someone's asked me that in this chat. Um, I've been crocheting since high school. About um, I can't remember what I said before. Fourteen years, maybe, thirteen or fourteen years. It's so about since about two thousand and seven, I think. Two thousand eight, maybe, but a while, a while. We're going to sew this drawbridge on the front here. Starting here. Up and no, come on up. Come on. Why are you fighting me? There we go. It's arguing with me. I don't like it when my crochet argues. I am the master of crochet. You must listen to the master. Execute order 66. <laughs> Can I crochet without actually looking at the project? Depends on the project, but yes, yeah, some projects. I have made a beanie once. Um, I challenged myself once to make a beanie without looking at it, and it went pretty well, actually. I, I didn't mess it up. So the answer is yes, I can. I have. Uh, it's difficult, though. It's not easy. I actually think what I'm going to do... This song is like so epic. I feel like I need to crochet faster or something. Okay, so I'm gonna hide this end all the way to the other side, then hide this end up to this bit, have it go through the back of the castle, have a knot on the back here so we can open and close the drawbridge. That is the plan. I'm also going to do a hidden end here to make the to match the other side of the uh, bridge. If I can like that 
song makes me think of like going to Disneyland or something. We'll have this end go into like right here. And then out through the back, like right here. And then we'll have this end. Yeah, I could see this being a good pattern to use with scrap yarn. Ooh, white castle. Why don't I do a white castle? That's a great idea. Are really any I have so many of these gray ones I should have just done a different color oh well maybe next time okay so we got the drawbridge and we want this side to go right like here we'll come out through the back stitch like right there maybe okay so here's the plan okay so we got these two ends over here we want to double knot these two ends on the inside but we want to give just enough so that when you open the bridge you still have some leeway there you know so pull it there that in like that yeah, like that. And then we'll double knot right there. And we'll try not to double knot it too tight. And I'm just going to cut them. I, I mean, whatever. I don't really care too much if it's like a messy end there. But there we go. We got a drawbridge. And ready? If we pull it. We'll close the drawbridge. How cute. How cute is that? Disney is way too expensive. I totally agree. I have been there, but it is way too expensive. Okay, so now, first off, we need a pin. Um, and I think a yellow. Let's try this yellow pin like that. On the top. And then we need some felt to make a flag. So let me grab some felt. Um, probably green, right? Yeah. Let me know if you, let me know if you think you should do different color one. I'll grab, I'll try to just grab some green and see where we go. Where we go from there. Let's see what we get. Oh, we got green right here. Oh, perfect. Look at this. Look at that. We had it all ready. Okay. So we're just gonna cut out a little tiny triangle and felt this might be too small actually that's just that's pretty good actually should we make it a straight square maybe we'll make an actual flag flag well let's do See what a triangle looks like. If we don't like it, we'll cut another one. Okay. Go in one side. The other. Like that. Ready? There we go. Our castle has been completed. Look at that. What do we think, you guys? What do we think? I think it looks pretty freaking good to me. Now let's get our dragon. Uh, let's position our dragon for it. Okay, so we want, a dra we want our dragon to be like... This is what's the best part about the dragon is they got... We got things all over it so we can... Bend the dragon's neck over 
like this. And then we can bend its tail over. Be like that. Wing can be over it. We might want to add some pins in. But I'm thinking like that. Actually, we don't even need pins. Maybe for the tail. Yeah, we can pin the tail in on the inside. Like this. Maybe. That's not bad. Okay, well, we got a dragon. Well, uh, maybe I'll make it. His tail just doesn't want to stay where it's supposed to, but it's not bad. Let me see if I can get this down to a better angle for us, though. Sorry, one sec. Like that, maybe? Gives you an idea. It's his little castle. Let's fix these little ends though. I lost the chat. Ah. There we go. Let's keep this out here and then we'll close it. Let's see. Let's open the open the castle so that people can get out because there is a giant dragon on it. And then we'll close it. Ready? Where is it? There it is. Ready? Da -da -da. Oh, perfect! Oh, I love it! It's so cute. Oh, the flag, though. Let's fix that. It's kind of hard to get a good angle. Like, that's the better angle. It's like that. Great. Great, great, great. Hey, guys. Thanks so much for joining for another great crochet along. Love you, guys. Stubborn dragon, yeah. Claire has a question. Ask the question. What you got for me before we call it up? Yeah, we're just almost done. He broke tank. Yes, membership kits. Um, okay, so again, uh, uh, this is the last um, last week. I think uh, you have until until August uh, 31st. So you have about a week and two days left. Um, and what you wanna do is if you sign up now for this, um, sorry, the, there we go. Move it back a little bit. Um, uh, it is going to be the last couple weeks you can have to sign up for the dragon kit. Um, so this month's kit is gonna be for one of these dragons. You'll get to choose between a green and a red dragon. Uh, questionnaires will go out next uh, on Wednesday. Uh, and you'll be able to say, I want a green dragon or I want a red dragon. And then kits will go out the first Monday of the month. Uh, and you will get all the materials that you need to make your dragon, as well as a tutorial with the video and the PDF and the everything that you need. Uh, so, yeah. Can you give a little break for practice? Okay. Yes, Desiree, yeah. Um, we will probably start the giveaway. I mean, I have a feeling we'll start the challenge, uh, not like next weekend, maybe next week. Um, so yeah, just keep an eye out for it. And I'm gonna make it a little bit longer than it was last time. I think we should make them always like just a little bit longer than before. Um, 
Yeah, and the membership it'll it'll be shipped out on Monday on on the first Monday of the month. That's when we ship them out. Um, yeah, and it's it signups are only I think it's only fifteen dollars for your first kit um, with free shipping to the United States. Uh, you can get it outside of the United States as well if you'd like to. Um, and then for regular memberships to get all the digital access on the website, it's uh, it's five dollars a month with a free trial if you want to try it out. But yeah, guys, seriously, thanks so much for watching. Thanks so much for joining. Um, I'm really excited about. Uh, this month's kit, obviously. I've been, like, addicted to Crocheting Dragons. I literally have... I think I have four... Four or five dragons so far, and I... Uh, I have to do one more for the video tutorial, and then I'll do one for a live stream in September. So we're... I'm gonna have, like, ten dragons, probably. <laughs> I'm so excited. Um, but, yes. I do have some dwarves patterns available too if you're which you're already a member um if you go to the rough drafts claire there is actually a tutorial for a tutorial a tutorial for some dwarves as well you can check it out there oh what was the last little pet oh my god sunshine thank you so much so the last little pet uh right before we get going is ready it's a pog it's a pog look at this little pug Look at how cute he is. Again, no sewing. Actually, no, wait. The mouth is sewn on. But other than the mouth, there's no sewing that's needed for this. Isn't that crazy? That's crazy, right? That's not so. Look at how cute this little dude is. I made this for my friend. This one's name is Hacksaw. Hacksaw the Pug. That's my, um, one of my really good friends has a pug named Hacksaw. A pog, exactly, a pog. <laughs> I knew you'd like it. I knew you guys would love the pog. Yes, these will be up in rough drafts uh, soon. I mean, like, as soon as I can. Uh, if you want to bug me about it, go for it. It'll get to the rough drafts a little bit quicker that way. There should be a new tutorial coming out this week, and then um, I won't be live streaming until the Wednesday after next, which is going to be on the September 1st. So I'll see you guys up again on September 1st. We're going to be doing another, um, another a uh, 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 another work in progress Wednesday, where we'll be working on our troll. Uh, our troll puppet. Last time we made our arms. You can see the hands. Uh, so we're going to be continuing to work on that uh, next, uh, not next Wednesday, but the Wednesday after. Um, my back is actually feeling a lot better since I used this hot pad. Thanks for asking, Sindria. Uh, Sindria? Sindria? Whatever. <laughs> I got it. I was pretty close. Um, but yes, so this will be out. This will be out soon too. Uh, again, guys, thanks so much for watching. Thanks for joining. Pasta la pizza. Happy hooking. No, you hang up. Oh my god. Stop. <laughs> Stop it. You're making me blush. You hang up. No, you hang up. Oh my god, you're so bad. You're so bad. Brad, stop it. Oh my gosh. No, you. Oh my gosh. Bye. Love you guys. Bye. Bye. Pasta la pizza. Bye.